So by the end of this video, you're going to have a dinosaur that is able to duck with the down arrow key, and that is also able to jump with the space or the up arrow key. Now before we get into the tutorial, if you like the content and you want to see more of it, please consider subscribing because only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed, so it would really help if you subscribed. But now with that out of the way, let's add some user input to our dinosaur. So, so far we have this script that has our dinosaur class, and it also has our main logic, which controls everything. So let's go ahead and run it and just see what we get so far. So right now we just have our dinosaur that is running across the screen, and we have our ground, which is moving to the left. Now let's add a couple of variables in the dinosaur class to implement jumping and docking. All right, so here in the dino class, I'm gonna go to the initializing method, and I'll add a few variables. So the first variable we're gonna create is gonna be a variable called velocity, which just stores the velocity of our dinosaur. So let's go ahead and create it. And we're gonna default this variable to be 50. We are also gonna make a variable called gravity, which stores how powerful gravity is gonna act on our dinosaur. So we'll say self.gravity, and we'll equal it to 4.5 to start out with. We're also gonna store whether or not we're ducking in a Boolean variable. So we're gonna say self.ducking, and we're gonna default it to false because by default, we're not ducking. And we are also gonna create another list just like this one, which stores two sprites. So the two sprites that we're gonna store in a new list are gonna be the ducking sprites. So we have two ducking sprites and we're gonna create a list identical to the running sprites list, except with some ducking sprites. So let's go ahead and create the list. And now we can add our two images to the list. So below here, let's say self dot ducking sprites dot append and we're going to append pygame dot image dot load assets slash dino ducking one dot png and we're going to duplicate this and do the same thing with dino ducking two dot png and those are all the variables we need to create right now now we're going to create the duck method so let's go down here and let's add a new method so we'll say def duck and once again we have to pass in self and we'll basically just say self.ducking is true. So we are changing the value of it to true since we're ducking. And all that we're gonna do with ducking is we're gonna say self.rect.center y is equal to 380. So this is just changing the position of our rect's center y. So center y is just the center on the x axis and the y axis changes depending on what we set it to. So right now we're setting it to 380 and we need to do this to calibrate the ducking sprite because if we didn't do this, the ducking sprite would make our dinosaur go a little bit lower than it was supposed to. So that's all we have to do with the duck method for now. Now we're gonna create another method just like the duck method, except it's gonna be called unduck and we're basically just reversing what we did here. So we'll go down here and we'll say def unduck and pass in self. And then we'll say self.ducking is back to false. And we are going to change our y position. So self.rec.center y. We are going to change it back to 360. And those are our two methods that control our ducking. Finally, we're going to create another method called apply gravity, which will just apply gravity to our dinosaur. So we'll say def apply gravity and we're gonna pass in self. So here we're gonna check if our Y position is less than or equal to a certain point, then we're gonna apply gravity. So that point for us is gonna be 360. So let's say if self.rect.center Y is less than or equal to 360, then we should apply some gravity. So we're gonna say self.rect.center Y plus equals self.gravity. So this gravity force that we had is just gonna be acting down upon this center Y value unless we are greater than or equal to 360 in the Y position. And now we're gonna to have to go inside of update and we're gonna actually have to call this method. So we'll say self.apply gravity. And you may have noticed that when we're ducking, the sprite obviously changes. So we need to update for this in our animate method. Currently in our animate method, we're just cycling through the same two images, but we have to add some logic that checks if we are ducking or not. And if we are ducking, then we should switch the frames to the ducking frames. So we're gonna say if self.ducking, for now we're just gonna pass, and then we're gonna say else, 
and if we are not docking then we are going to say that our image should be equal to the running sprites images and inside of here instead of saying pass we'll just copy this we'll paste it in here and we'll replace this with self dot docking sprites so now we've finished all of the logic needed for ducking inside of our dino class. We're going to be adding some more stuff later on with the user input, but for now we're going to be done with ducking. Now what I want to go ahead and do is create the jump method. So below all of this, we'll create another method and we'll call it jump. And we just have to pass in self. And inside of our jump method, we are going to check if self.rect.center y is greater than or equal to 360. So basically, if we are not jumping already, if we are at a position where we are just running, then we'll be able to jump. So if this condition is met, then we're going to say while self.rect.center y minus self.velocity is greater than 40, then we're going to say self.rect.center y minus equals one. So basically this while loop is gradually decreasing our y position so that we are going to jump gradually and it's not going to be like an instant thing. So that's all for the jump method and that's actually all for the dino class. So we're done with the dino class and we can just go ahead and close it. Now we're going to go inside of our while loop and we are going to add some logic to check if we are pressing some keys. Now we're going to use a built in Pygame function to get a dictionary of all the current keys that are being pressed. So this dictionary will contain all of the keys that are being pressed and it will contain values which are true or false. For example, in our dictionary, we could have a key which is the space bar and it would store whether or not we are pressing it in a true or false boolean. So we are going to create this dictionary by saying keys, which is the name of the dictionary, will be equal to pygame.key.getPressed. So this will return the dictionary that we need. And we're going to check if we are pressing the down arrow key. So if keys pygame.k underscore down. So k underscore down is the equivalent of the down key with pygame. So if we are pressing the down key, then we should say dinosaur dot duck and we're going to say else if we are ducking currently so if dinosaur dot ducking then we should say dinosaur dot unduck and at this point we can run our code and test out if the ducking mechanism of the dinosaur is working so let's go ahead and run it And it is working. When we press the down key, the dinosaur switches to ducking. But again, the problem is that it's really small. So basically what happened is we didn't scale it up yet. So we can do that in our dinosaur class. And we're just going to use the same function that we used before. So we'll go inside of our dino class. And this is the last thing we have to do with our dino class. So we just have to say pygame.transform.scale and a bracket there and a bracket over here. Once again, we'll put it on a separate line and we are going to scale it to the value of 110 wide and 60 tall. So now we're just going to go ahead and copy this and replace the second image with it. So we're going to say self.ducking sprites dot append pygame dot transform dot scale. And we are going to be scaling this image, except it's going to be dino ducking two dot PNG. So now let's try running it again. And now let's press the down arrow and it works. So we have a dinosaur that is of a reasonable size, which is ducking. So now let's move on to jumping. Now we're going to add some user input for jumping. So all we have to do for jumping is we have to go inside of our event loop. And all we have to say is if event dot type equals pygame dot key down, then we should say if event dot key. So the key that we are pressing is equal to pygame dot k underscore space. So if we are pressing the space bar or event dot key is equal to pygame dot k up. So basically, if we are pressing the space bar or the up key, then we should jump. So we should say dinosaur dot jump. So let's run this and see what happens. So we have our dinosaur and we can duck. But now let's try to jump and we can jump. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. We just added some user input, so now your dinosaur can jump and it can also duck. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, and if you really liked it, subscribe for more content like this in the future. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.